Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. Autumn. And Sang. And happy holidays! Happy holidays! Today we are doing a little bit of a holiday special with My Mini Mixie Cues. Uh, we have two My Mini Mixie Cues play sets here, or one's a play set and the other one's a fashion pack. Uh, they are both holiday themed, perfect for, you know, the Christmas slash whatever you celebrate season. Mm -hmm. And they both look very adorable and we're going to go ahead and open them up, give you guys a closer look. So here we have the contents of the winter holiday fashion pack. As you can see, you have four um, My Mini Mixies plus the mystery one, of course. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight outfits and eight hairstyles slash hat styles. And it says on the box there are 400 plus combinations. So basically, <laughs> it'll be really, you'll be hard pressed to find someone who decorated your mini, my mini mixie cues exactly the same, which is, I think, one of the bigger appeals of this series. And that's what's really cool is I think even, you know, the way the, the packaging is and everything, because the figures aren't pre dressed. There isn't even necessarily, quote unquote, like a predetermined way to dress them. Like Autumn and I got packs not that long ago, and I would have assumed they would have ended up looking similar, but ours ended up looking totally different. Because, yeah, it's 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 cool. You can just get very creative with how you you know. And there's some outfits that kind of have a color scheme that matches you know the hair and everything better, but it's really a lot of freedom here. So many possibilities. I also really like the fashion packs because it comes with like twice as much stuff as you need. So it, once again, if you get the mystery packs, then if you get a duplicate, you can totally just dress them up with this new stuff. So yeah. let's get these guys put together. Here are the four of my mini Mixie Qs all dressed up in their holiday splendor. Um, they came out really cute. I love how festive and shiny they are. Um, yeah, this is a very shiny set. I like that, you know, there's like the little metallic hair piece here and a little glittery hair piece here. Um, so it's very festive, it's very colorful. And, you know, what I like about these packs, the fashion packs too, is that, you know, the little carrying case that comes with, it's yeah. the color scheme is tied to the theme of the pack. So like the Halloween one is um, orange and green, green like green. the stem, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's orange and green, and this one's green and red for like Christmassy colors. Yeah, so if you're particularly proud of one of your minis, you can clip it onto your bag and mm -hmm. show it off. I really like these carrying cases, but you know, what's slightly frustrating is the fact that you open them from this end, <laughs> which... The, the bit, handle gets in the way. Yeah, the handle can kind of get in the way and make it slightly tough to open, but Autumn pointed out, and she's probably right, it's it's probably to kind of prevent, you know, it from opening accidentally and the figure falls out and that would be horrible, so... <laughs> yeah, so kind of annoying, but mm -hmm. you'll feel safer, so... Yeah. Let's open the... Place it and give these girls a place to hang out on. Actually, we forgot we need to open the <laughs> mystery pack. Okay, got purple hair. It's that girl. Which girl? That one. Oh. Oh, she's like hippie princess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's got a little peace sign on her chest and beads at the. Beads at the end of her shirt and a bunch of flowers in her hair, so that's really Aww, cute. She's a cute hippie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, now we're going to the playset. All right, here is the ski vacation playset, fully unboxed and set up, and so cute. <laughs> I may change my mind on favorite playset. <laughs> I don't Every know. Every time we open. Them, so. <laughs> there's a lot you can do. There's um. There's ice skating, which works pretty well. There's uh, this ski lift slash ride, I don't know, swing? I have no idea what this I is, but it's, it's cute. It's probably supposed to be a ski lift, yeah. Yeah, um, have this uh, skiing sport, what I, I, I don't I do not do ice sports, I don't know what's Sledding? going on. Is it, is it like... It's not a sled, it's not skis. Ski, yeah, like a ski jump or something yeah, like ski that. Yeah, ski jump. Probably the best feature is this abominable snowman in oh. the back. With his own mountain that he can be 
the king of what? <laughs> I love him so much. He's maybe like my favorite figure in the set. Wow. I am a big fan of this penguin, which I have attached to this sled. So he's pretty adorable. This whole set is really cutely colored and well placed out. Yes, and the two figures the set comes with are this little girl in the pink fluffy snowflake outfit and this other girl in her little red skiing outfit and slightly sad situation with the helmet <laughs> um this this figure is shown with a really cute light blue um knitted cap on in the promo images on the back of the box um but this set the final version of the set actually does not come with this hat uh, they've got this like you know red helmet instead um which is kind of sad i would have preferred the blue hat but still unbelievably adorable set and you know it's a perfect setting for all your little holiday mix -ups. we always forget and then get really excited about the mystery figure yeah. it's such a good idea for them to include these no. it just makes me like 20 percent happier about the whole thing okay let's see what we got oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we already have this uh, we it's are. like we have him but it's he like, is uh, very cute that's our first duplicate mystery thing, so I don't know. In, yeah. In, as far as the ones that come in the packs, or the play sets, and now I'm wondering if they do put slightly rarer ones in the play set. Because yeah. so far we've gotten decently rare ones, so mm -hmm. hard to say. Yeah. But that would be cool. So something we forgot to mention in our previous My Mini Mixy Cues video is that the play sets that fold up into the box, they actually have really adorable little uh, embossed um, artworks all over each six sides of the cube. So that was Snowman next to a lodge. We have a My Mini Mixy Cue and a penguin on the ski lift with some mountains. Um, a My Mini Mixy Cue skiing? I can't really tell what's going on. Yeah, with this sparkly sky. Yeah, that's cute. Snowing. And probably Max's favorite, the little Yeti, just <laughs> growling with his fists in the air. He's like a Pop-Tart Yeti. <laughs> He's so cute. So cute. And then is there anything on the bottom? Oh, it's just the logo on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you know, it is a brand new series, so I can definitely see them pulling out all their pulling out all the stops. But um, I just really appreciate extra details like that because it's not strictly necessary, but it is a really nice touch. So, final thoughts on the winter holiday themed My Mini Mixed Cues. You know, as with most of the My Mini Mixed Cues sets, you know, I think it's super adorable. Um, I really love that a lot of the fashion packs come with a lot of unique and metallic and glittery accessories. Um, it really makes them pop and gives you a little more bang for your buck if you're getting, you know, the packs. Um, and yeah, as usual, I mean, even though these are really tiny toys, um, you're getting quite a bit for what you're paying for. Um, you know, as with the playset, there's all those different little accessories and you get a blind bag, so you get a cool bonus one. Um, and as we showed you guys earlier, there's unique artwork and indentations on the box, super easy to store. Um, if you want more details on, you know, like mini mixy cues in general and what they're all about and what, you know, our recommendations on age range and all that kind of stuff, uh, you can watch our previous video on these toys, which I'll put the link for that in the description. Um, but yeah, in terms of the holiday sets, I would definitely recommend it if you're a fan of mixy cues in general or if you just like really cute holiday themed stuff. I specifically, I mean, I've kind of enjoyed all of the My Mini Mixy Cues play sets, but I specifically uh, really recommend these two because they go together. Like all the other ones were like, oh, well, you know, there's a Halloween set and there's a pet shop and they don't really uh -huh. mix together, but these two do and it just looks great when the play set's fully populated with lots yeah. of My Mini Mixies. I don't really have any complaints. There's the occasional gripe with the... Uh, loose outfits like I'm not demonstrating it though. <laughs> yeah. Like 
I mean, that shouldn't even happen. Like, it, yeah. most of the other ones are they, super tight. Yeah, they basically, like, they almost, like, snap on. Yeah, this one, it's really loose. And that happens, I've noticed, I mean, I have a lot in my mini mixy cues now, and I've noticed it's only happened with a small handful of them, but you gotta be cautious, because, yeah, the ones that are loose, they, yeah, it can be crummy if you, you know, it falls off and you lose them. Yeah, I mean, it's not too big of a deal, because they do only stay in the one position, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is, uh, delayed to be mentioning this. I, I kind of wanted to in our first Mini Mixy Cues video, but um, in, you know, for anyone wondering, if you're not familiar with these toys, um, you can't like swivel their heads or position them at all. So they're completely um, fixed. just a fixed like idle stance. Yeah, so you can't like move their heads or swivel their heads or anything, but they're still super cute. Yeah, and I appreciate with their lack of personal mobility, they give the play sets a lot for them to do, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Good thinking there. Is that a princess? I don't know what she's going for. Maybe it's a sugar plum fairy type thing? I, that was the combination I thought, it, it, yeah, it almost gives her like a little Christmas princess look, cause like. I like the, the shiny thing on her forehead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is, it is yeah. cute. <laughs> I'm still kind of debating if I want her hair to be orange. <laughs> But these do look really easily customizable. Yeah. yeah. They remind me of like um, Polly Pockets. Oh, yeah. Oh, just like, yeah. I think maybe it's like a new age kind of, you know, Polly mm -hmm. Pocket. Mm -hmm. You know, everything fits in a little nice little container and you take mm -hmm. it to go. That uh, makes sense that I'd like it then because I loved Polly Pockets. For as you a kid. kids <laughs> who don't know what that is, <laughs> look it up. <laughs> We're huge in the 90s. <laughs> be able to customize them it's really cool some of them are kind of like on theme in terms of like their face so you kind of have to put them in certain outfits but yeah it's fun you know um, a lot of, a lot of um, the reason we like dolls and that kind of thing is we'd be able to dress them up so it's kind of another uh, thing that Mattel has engineered uh, in their new products is you're able to you know customize your own um, figures or toys um, so it's, I, it's very, it's, it's very smart. They're very cute, and you know, both Autumn and Max really like this series. And um, you know, I, I think uh, you know it has a bright future um, as long as you know it keeps up with new characters and more blind bags for us to open. <laughs> um, and it's a very smart, you know, you know, tactic to like include a mystery figure in each uh, playset because then you want to go out and buy more. They're very cute, they're very small, and so be, please be careful not to lose them, because you know, when we lose stuff, it's very devastating, so. Yes. <laughs> um, Although at this price point, it's not too devastating to <laughs> replace it. you lose like a rare one or something. Yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. But it's very fun. You guys already lost something. I found um, a, a bone the other day. What? Where is it? So, so yeah, please be careful, guys. <laughs> okay, well, on that note, <laughs> thank you for joining us for our review of the My Mini Mixie Q's holiday playset and fashion pack. Let us know in the comments what you guys think of these cuties and what you'd like to see us review next. Until then, we will see you next time. Bye! Bye. Outfits that kind of have a color scheme that matches, you know, the hair and everything better, but it's really a lot of freedom here. So many possibilities. I also really like the fashion packs because it comes with like twice as much stuff as you need. So it, once again, if you get the mystery packs, then if you get a duplicate, you can totally just dress them up with this new stuff. So yeah. let's get these guys put together. Here are the four of my mini Mixie Qs all dressed up in their holiday splendor. Um, they came out really cute. I love how festive and shiny they are. Um, yeah, this is a very shiny set. I like that, you know, there's like the little metallic hair piece here and a little glittery hair piece here. Um, so it's very festive, it's very colorly, and the figure falls out, and that would be horrible, so. <laughs> yeah, so kind of annoying, but mm -hmm. you'll feel safer, so. Yeah. Let's open the play set and give these girls a place to hang out on. Actually, we forgot we need to open the <laughs> mystery pack. Okay, we got purple hair. 
It's that girl. Which girl? That one. Oh. Oh, she's like hippie princess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's got a little peace sign on her chest and beads at the whoop, beads at the end of her shirt and a bunch of flowers in her hair. So that's really oh, cute. She's a cute hippie. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. And you know what I like about these packs, the fashion packs too, is that it's, you know the little carrying case that comes with. It's yeah. the color scheme is tied to the theme of the pack. So like the Halloween one is um, orange and green, green like green. the stem, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's orange and green, and this one's green and red for like Christmassy colors. Yeah. So if you're particularly proud of one of your minis, you can clip it onto your bag and mm -hmm. show it off. I really like these carrying cases, but. You know, what's slightly frustrating is the fact that you open them from this end, <laughs> which the, the bit, handle gets in the way. Yeah, the handle can kind of get in the way and make it slightly tough to open, but Autumn pointed out, and she's probably right, it's it's probably to kind of prevent you know it from opening accidentally. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. Autumn. And Sang. And happy holidays! Happy holidays! Today we are doing a little bit of a holiday special with My Mini Mixie Cues. Uh, we have two My Mini Mixie Cues play sets here, or one's a play set and the other one's a fashion pack. Uh, they are both holiday themed, perfect for you know the Christmas slash whatever you celebrate season. Mm -hmm. And they both look very adorable and we're going to go ahead and open them up, give you guys a closer look. So here we have the contents of the winter holiday fashion pack. As you can see, you have four um, My Mini Mixies plus the mystery one of course. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight outfits and eight hairstyles slash hat styles. And it says on the box there are 400 plus combinations. So basically, <laughs> it'll be really, you'll be hard pressed to find someone who decorated your mini, my mini mixi cues exactly the same, which is, I think, one of the bigger appeals of this ser series. And that's what's really cool is I think even, you know, the way the, the packaging is and everything, because the figures aren't pre dressed, there isn't even necessarily, quote unquote, like a predetermined way to dress them. Like Autumn and I got packs not that long ago and I would have assumed they would have ended up looking similar but ours ended up looking totally different because yeah it's 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 cool you can just get very creative with how you you know there's some 